Well, welcome back year one. It's Monday morning and I know we're gonna have another great day. I hope you have all had a restful weekend and you've let your adults at home have a little rest after their tiring week too. So we're going to start our final day of home learning at nine o'clock in our usual manner, all gathering together to check in, see how we all are, catch up on the weekend and just say hello. We will then move on to our phonics and we will do our sounds, we will do our tricky words, we will segment and blend some words before sending you off at half past nine to do your phonics activity on Purple Mash. You are superstars at this now, so I know you're going to do fabulously. At 9.50 till 10.05, just like we did last week, we'd like to encourage you to take a break in whichever form this looks like to you. It might be reading a book, it might be having a play, it might just be sitting and listening to some music for a while, whichever suits you and gives your little brain a break. At 10.05, we'll meet together again on Teams to do our mass input for the day from your teacher. OK, if you are unable to get on Teams, the link for what we are doing is above using the White Rose video. We are going to be looking at number bonds today. Now, number bonds are really, really important for your maths. They're such a strong foundation if you can learn them really well. So we're going to be spending the session today looking at our number bonds. Once we've done our input, we're going to send you off to do a few online games. One of them I know that you, my class in particular, I think next door are familiar with, is Top Marks Hit the Button. OK, and we'd like you to go using the link, we'll send the link in our teams to play Top Marks Hit the Button. And you have to try and find the bond to go with it. So, for example, on the screen, you can see a number three. So I would want to tap the number seven on my screen because seven and three make ten. You have to see how many of these you can get done in 60 seconds. I think the record in our class was 16. So I wonder if anybody can beat that. Once you've had one go, keep having a go. See if you can beat your score, because the quicker you get your recall of your number bonds, the better you are going to be in your maths. We're also going to be sending a link to this game here, which is a super fun game. OK, and you shoot the little balls out of the um, centre to match. So you can see there's a number one in the centre now. So I would want to be tapping it towards a number nine because number nine and number one make ten. OK, so we're going to send you off for half an hour to play with those games and really practice those number bonds because they're really helpful in so many areas of your mathematics learning. OK, so it's really important that you get to know these. At 11 till about 11.10, we'll come back together and just talk about how we got on. Did anyone manage to beat their score? OK, and then at 11.10 till 11.40, we're going to be doing a whole class guided reading session on Harold's worst nightmare. I wonder what it could be. Join us to find out. At 11.40 till 12, we're going to be sending you a link to Miss Barton's wind down and relax session. This is 20 minutes of really relaxing stretches and yoga poses to really relax your mind before lunchtime. When we get back from lunch at 1.15, we will be doing some art and we're going to be looking at Van Gogh. OK, I'm not going to give too much away because you'll find out later. But at 1.15 to 1.45, a shorter session today, we will be learning about Van Gogh. Now, the afternoon after that is a little bit broken up because we have two assemblies this afternoon. We have one at 1.55 till 25 past two because we have a special guest. OK, so a link to this will be coming out on Parent Pay for you to join it. So please do join. And um, I'm not going to say any more. It's a surprise. OK, and then at 2.40 till 3.05, we have our usual assembly. So please, in that time between the two assemblies, have a little bit of your break time because you usually would have had a break time in the afternoon. And also you'll be, need to transfer over to our usual assembly link, which you received on the first Friday we were off. So there's a little bit of a gap there to allow for technology and allow you to switch over to the different assembly. OK, after the assembly, we will say goodbye 
and we finally will get to see you on Tuesday morning, which I'm so looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in person. You've been amazing and you've done really well online, but it's going to be so good to see you all again on Tuesday. Okay, so for now, it's goodbye from me. Bye.